Hey guys, it's Jeff with iDownload Blog. Let's talk about iKiwi. It is a fifth row keyboard add-on for the iPhone or iPod Touch, and it allows you to have custom keys in the first row there on that fifth row. It doesn't require a winter board or anything like that. You just install it and go, and you can actually edit the file, the plist file to add or customize that fifth row of keys to your liking. Right now it comes with just the numeric keypad, and if you hit the shift key, it'll change to some other uh, to that keypad there, right there with the exclamation point, etc. Uh, so that's pretty much all there is to it from a stock standpoint. Unfortunately, you have to go in and edit that property list file if you want to change those keys. Uh, there's no settings panel or anything in the settings app to adjust those keys. So as you can see there, that does work and it, it's plenty of room to type and everything like that. It works out pretty well. Let's head over to iFile and let's go into the property list file. And let me show you how easy it is to edit this file to be able to get the keys that you want customized here. So let's go to property list viewer and then we'll just click on the custom keys, not the alt keys. You can do that as well if you want the alternate keys. But here you can see the list from zero through nine, I believe. And then you can just delete what's in there. That was the number one. And we can put whatever else we want in here. We can actually put in multiple uh, letters or numbers or anything like that. Maybe you can put it even in a smiley face if you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Just a little winky face. And I have that in there. So let's go back out. Let's change the uh, one key, which is actually two. And we'll just change that to how about a frowny face? How about that? So we go back out. All we need to do now is just respring our iPhone and then the new key should take effect. So I've resprung the iPhone. Let's go back to our notes app and let's check out our keyboard. And let's switch from the alternate keyboard. There you go. So there are our new keys. You have the frowny face and the winky face and it's that easy to customize. It really is simple. It would be nice if there was a settings panel so you could do this without having to have iFile or any other text editor. But as it stands, it's simple simple enough to edit those. It is called iKiwi. It is available on the Big Boss repo for $1.99. It is a new keyboard tweak, which lets you add a customized row keyboard. It comes with just a numeric and alternate keys, but you can customize that with iFile. Um, it's compatible with color keyboard. No need to rely on Winterboard or anything like that. It has iOS 5 support, so that's really nice. And also, one thing of note, it doesn't work in landscape mode, unfortunately. So once you go into landscape mode, it'll just disappear that fifth row keyboard. But once you go back into portrait mode, it comes back. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.